Welcome this morning to the grand opening of the hotel at Grayton Resort and Casino. It is my privilege and great pleasure to welcome to the stage the chairman of the Federated Indians of Grayton Rancheria, Greg Saris. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Oh, the scissors are here. It's uh, obviously not for a haircut. Um, good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming. Welcome. Uh, this is an exciting day for us. I won't talk too long because it's kind of cold. I know you want to go inside and look around. But uh, before I begin or say anything else, there's a few people, quite a few people I need to thank, and I probably won't thank enough of them. But first and foremost, I want to thank my tribe, the Federated Indians of Great and Rancheria, for all the support and for our ability to work so well together. Um, thank you specifically to my tribal council, four of whom I see here, five of whom I see here this morning, Lawrence Stafford, Robert Stafford, Melissa Elgin, Jean Bouvelot, and Lynn Silva. Thank you for being here and supporting us. It's so important. Um, finally then, I, or not finally, but I want to thank the stations team, the, our management team. Um, you've been so wonderful to all of us, but me in particular, being a teacher and a mentor, for someone who's been an English professor and has a PhD in modern thought and literature from Stanford, I knew nothing about uh, casinos, wins per units, or much less of hotels. Uh, Joe Hassan, Cord Nichols, you've been great teachers and mentors to me wherever you are, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, our construction team, uh, RT and Joe Pippia, you've got to be somewhere around. I thought you're here. Um, usually I see you late at night at a bar, probably or went here after dealing with us. So, uh, oh, there you are, right there. Don't try to uh, hide. Um, I don't recognize you in suits. Um, <laughs> and you're with Scott Nielsen, of course, who's been with us from day one in terms of development. You guys, thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, the 1,000 people, men and women, um, who built this facility in a record 14 months. They were the miracle workers who got this job done and got it done so beautifully as you're able to see it today. Uh, to all of them, thank you. Thank you very much. I also want to acknowledge uh, the Board of Supervisors, Sonoma County Board of Supervisors, the Rona Park City Council. I know some of you are here. Um, and uh, Petaluma City Council, I believe, are, are here. Uh, so I want to thank you. And I want to thank all of you who worked with us. I'm happy to see, to live through this. Uh, somebody uh, in an earlier interview, they said, can you believe it happened so fast? Well, um, <laughs> uh, yes and no. Sometimes it seems like it's been uh, centuries. Other times it's uh, much shorter. But um, it. It was a long and so at times difficult, but for all of us, the dream of the Federated Indians of Great Rancheria was to create a something that what Sonoma County could be proud of, something that Sonoma County needed, and something that would help the tribe accomplish its goals, to take care of its citizens, to further their and enhance their well-being, and at the same time, push the tribe's agenda, which simply can put in two concepts, environmental restoration and social justice. And we hope now that with this beautiful facility, this is the completion of what was the original plan, which was to have a casino, a resort casino. We had the casino for three years, and exactly three years later now, here it is, the completion of the resort. We have um, a facility here that is beautiful, that is first class, and addressing the needs of the community, of the North Bay in particular, finally you have the place in our beautiful ballroom, which you'll see, where we can have a dinner with 1,700 people. We can host conventions and be a destination point where there has not been one before. We have 200 beautiful hotel rooms, a 10,000 square foot spa, two new bars, and a wonderful new Asian restaurant. So again, our dream of creating not just a casino, but a destination point in the wine country that offers a host of amenities 
including gaming, is now here and for all of you to see. And we're very proud of what we have to show you today. So um, with that being said, I just uh, also want to, again, finally thank everybody who's been a part of this. Those of you who've supported us can now watch as the larger agenda of the Federated Indians of Great Rancheria strives for its goals and reaches its goals. I started by thanking the tribe, but I must end by remembering our elders and ancestors of the tribe that got us here. Um, they never had this opportunity, and as somebody was um, mentioning earlier, asking me what did this mean and what's so important for you, is that those of us on the council and in the leadership in particular, and the rest of the tribe, we are giving back in a very small way what our ancestors have given us, life against all odds and the opportunity to go on. So to all of our ancestors that lived in such difficult times and a difficult history, thank you for the opportunity and we hope that we have made your suffering and life worthwhile and that now we can move forward, all of us, Indian and non-Indian alike, in this community to create a home that's based on social justice and care for the environment. What it always was for our ancestors, and if we're gonna make it in the future, must be for us. Thank you and welcome everybody. Greg, thanks so much. I'd like to invite Tribal Council up to the ribbon. We're just about ready to unveil the terrific new hotel. We'll have you all step over to the ribbon cutting ceremony. I'm going to be, I'm not going to run with scissors. I'm going to be careful with the scissors, Mr. Chairman. I don't want security coming after me. Mr. Chairman, one, two, three. three. There we go. Congratulations to the Federated Indians of Great Rancheria. All the members of Tropical Council, thanks so much. Uh, there's quite a bit. 